makatulong sila upang mambulat ang mundo at maipahayag na ang sexual na karahasan bilang strategiya ng digmaan ay krimen laban sa komunidad at dapat papangulis ang mga pamahalaan. Inaalay ang bantayaw na ito sa alaala ng comfort women at upang tunuyan ng malisupo ang sexual na karahas, karahasan at pangangalakal ng kababatihan sa kabawuhan ng mundo.
after day after day and living the hurt of a war woman, wartime, comfort woman, bonded to man. We do remember. Thank you.
do it because this issue is so important to the community. I will do it for free. Thank you. But I also want to tell you, you've been getting so many free help. You've been exploiting people, you know, harassing them, making sure that they do everything for us for free and safe on the budget. So thank you for all those people who have been volunteering for us and helping us. But I would like to acknowledge some really wonderful people who came far and away to be with us today. I want to acknowledge Mr. An Shin Huan, Director of the House of Sharing. Mr. An, where are you? Would you please raise your hand so we know where you are? Mr. An, come up here. Mr. An is, uh, has been taking care of our grandmoms when we could not. And I visited him with Judge Singh and our group of Comfort Women Justice Coalition members. And he was so wonderful. He took good care of all the grandmas and make sure they house comfortably and make sure they have a life that is worth living at this point. Mr. An, thank you so much. Would you say a few words? One minute. So 
please um, uh, keep your attention up that you know we will have that screening soon. And we also want to um, recognize Dr. Aiko Ta, who is Shanichi, Taiwanese scholar activist. Please give him a big hand. Then where is he? This, where is he? Where is Dr. Aiko Ta? Where are you? And we also want to recognize Julie Lee, president of the um, Washington Coalition for Comfort Women Issues. Julie, where are you? Would you like to say a few words? Oh, yeah. I don't have a good outfit to fit into here. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here today. So impressed, all your achievement and your effort. I almost cried during the ceremony. And as you know, in 1991, Park Sun Kim came forward and then witnessed what happened during the 1930s and 40s. And the very next year, 1992, Hwang Gumju, Gumju Hwang, came to Washington, D.C. and they gave another testimony. And then one of our attendees, like you, got very influenced by her testimony, and then she quit her job at World Bank, and then founded the Washington Coalition for Comfort Women Issues. And then for a decade or so, uh, we did a lot of grassroots movements, along with the scholars, elected officers, and congressmen with Michael Honda, and many of them, and then we passed the House Resolution 121 2007, that we just had, uh, like last month, at a 10th anniversary of passing the House Resolution 121. We did a lot of things like webinars, seminars, and exhibitions. We had a fourth monument in the Virginia, and the many of things. I think it's a, this is a, like a, a life of the House Resolution spirit, and then here and forever. And then um, if we achieve, we feel like we achieve one thing, we don't have to, we're not supposed to stop there. We have to continue to run all together, uh, in solidarity. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you so much. Next, we want to recognize KAFC, Korean American Forum of California. The director, um, Phyllis Kim, has been an integral part of the Comfort Woman Justice Coalition. She's one of the hottest working persons. She was our MC for the unveiling. But I also want to recognize the founder of the KAFC. Where are you? The founder, Yun. He has left already? Okay, that's fine. So I want to recognize Ji Hee Hu and Peter Hu. Ji, would you like to say a few words, Ji Hee? Come up here. Thank you so much for all your wonderful dedication to the Comfort Women Memorial. Thank you so much for all of your efforts. I want to congratulate our amazing Wonder Woman team here, the two amazing judges. Another round of applause, Julian and Camille. So I, I would like to say thank you to all of you who came here tonight, today and today to see the Comfort Woman uh, statue. Uh, I think it is an expression of our love for humanity. It is not simply just a statue. It is actually a physical manifestation of all of the love that you have given to the cause. But I also want to recognize uh, our amazing Haimani here, who I've known for 10 years. And she has the energy and the power to power through all of the challenges that we've had. Uh, Ten years ago, when we were fighting for HR 121, she came and she testified, and she actually changed the minds of 435 co-sponsors, along with our champion, Congressman Honda. So thank you so much. Thank you. So, uh, we just have Erin Paskin, who walked in. Oh, Doug Khan is going to be next. Erin Paskin.
Judge Singh, thank you to Judge Tank and to the many, many individuals, including my former colleague, Supervisor Eric Marr, who are seminal in this. And I don't want to steal the lines of uh, Rabbi Khan, uh, but this is truth and reconciliation is one of the most important things that nations and cities can do for everlasting peace on this earth. And as Rabbi Khan knows, and as I know as a Jewish American uh, whose family survived in part the German Holocaust, I know just how important it is when a nation state apologizes for the grievous acts that happened in wartime. And for that to happen in San Francisco, where a polyglot city, where Asian cultures mix, is particularly important. This has not been easy. I'm not just talking about relative to legislation passed and money raised. It has not been easy as a member of the Board of Supervisors because of the controversy that it has caused. But I can say as a supervisor who attended the opening of the Japanese internment camp museum in July in Topaz, Utah, where all of the Japanese internees were interned, how important it is that the United States of America, a half a century later, apologize to the Japanese American community. It is the most mature form of social and governmental and political behavior. And for that, I want to salute everybody for their long effort to bring this about, and particularly to Julie and to Lillian for being so dogged in their pursuit. Congratulations.